there is a nice verse of Billa Mangal Thakur. Uh, he, he lived for 700 years in Vrindavan and he was, became a great devotee of Krishna. Uh, from, uh, in the beginning he was an impersonalist. Uh, his life is very nice. It is better to cite his life. He was a uh, South Indian Brahmin, a very rich man and very much uh, sensual. He kept one prostitute. Uh, prostitute. So he was so much, I mean to say, devoted to the prostitute that uh, he was performing his father's, uh, I mean, death ceremony, and uh, he was asking the priest, uh, please haste, please haste, make haste. I have to go, I have to go. Uh, my prostitute. So he was a very rich man, a priestly anyway, he finished that business. Then uh, there was telling man he took very nice food stuff in a bag and he was going to that prostitute's house. Uh, but when he uh, came out of his home, oh, it was raining torrently. So he never, he never um, cared for that raining. Uh, he went to the riverside. Oh, there was no boat, and it was the uh, river was waving. The waves are very furious, and he thought, well, "How can I go the other side?" He was daily going to the other side of the river. Then, uh, uh, anyway, he swimmed over, crossed over by swimming. Then, uh, the prostitute thought, "Oh, it is today raining," and. Uh, he, he may not come, so he blocked the door and went to sleep. And when he came to the house, he saw oh, the door is blocked, and it was raining still. So how can I go? So he, he crossed over the uh, wall by uh, catching one snake. Uh, just see how much intensely he was attached, and he went to the prostitute and he was uh, Astonished, well, Billamangal, his name was Billamangal. How do they have to come here like this? Oh, he described, yes, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. So, the prostitute was astonished. Ah, her name was Chintam. So, the prostitute said, My dear Billamangal, if you have got so intense love for me, uh, had it been for God, for Krishna, how would have been your life sublime? Oh, let's trap him. Yes. He at once left and went away. Yes, you are right. Then he was Vrindavan. Uh, where he's, he saw another beautiful woman because he has the practice to that habit. So he was going behind. Although he determined, now I'm going to Vrindavan. On the way, he was again attracted by another woman. So he followed that woman. That, that woman belonged to a respectable family. So he came and the woman said to him, to her husband, Sir, this man is following me. Please ask, what is the idea? The husband asked, My dear sir, you, you appear to be a very nice gentleman, and uh, you, you, you belong to a very aristocratic family from your appearance, which I understand. What do you want? You are following my wife. He said, Yes, I am following your wife because I want to embrace her. Oh, you want to embrace? Come on, embrace. Come on, you are welcome. Come on. So, the wife also, see how hot at all. Here is a guest. See, he wants to embrace you and kiss you. So, please then decorate yourself nicely so that he may enjoy. So, the wife also followed the instruction of the husband because wife's duty is to follow the instruction. And when Billamangal came inside before the omen, 
he said, My dear mother, will you kindly give your hair pin? Yes. Why? I have got some business. Uh, he took the hair pin and at once pierced his eyes. So this eye is my enemy. And he became blind. He became blind. Uh, then, then all of them, uh, that's all right. Now, no more I shall be disturbed. Uh, so in that blindness you are uh, and penitent and penancing, austerities in the Lamon. Uh, so by the grace of Krishna, Krishna came like a boy. Uh, oh, my dear sir, why you are starving? Why didn't you take some milk? Oh, who are you, my dear boy? Uh, oh, I am a boy and this of this village. I am a cowherd boy. If you like, I can give you daily some milk. All right. Very good. So Krishna was supplying him milk. So there was friendship. Uh, and uh, he, he has written that uh, bhakti is such a thing that uh, mukti mukalita anjali sevati a smart. Uh, mukti, mukti is nothing for me. So this is his word. Mukti mukalita anjali sevati a smart. So we have no desire for mukti. When Krishna comes to supply milk, uh, then what is the use of my mukti? So that's a great soul, Billamangal Thakur. It is worth to remember his name. For seven hundred years he lived in Vindava, and he has written a nice book which is called Krishna Karnamrita. Uh, that is a very authoritative book, Krishna Karnamrita. Lord Chaitanya picked up this book, uh, and he recommended all his devotees to read that Krishna Karnamrita. 